Hello everybody and welcome along to another episode of the Williams 2022 Champion Career Mode. Unfortunately though, it is not about the championship. It's not even about P2 anymore this, in this 2022 season in our Williams. It is only about P3 now, but I think more importantly, it's about trying to maximise our constructor's position because I have decided to do another season on this series now um that's because obviously we've been so far away from the championship this season we've also run out of upgrades the reason i wanted to do it one season i think it's more of a challenge and season two is normally too easy but actually it's looking like we're going to run out of upgrades i think this will be the last race this season that we'll get some upgrades and other than that we're just waiting on facility upgrades from williams so i think that makes season two a real big challenge and we'll be in for a really close fight for the championship so there will be a season two it will be a shortened season but there will be a season two for williams careers look forward to that but today is going to be the u.s grand prix where as i said i believe we're due our final upgrades of the season let's hope there's some good ones because uh we're gonna need them if we want to have a good result good results to round out the season right here we go there guys as i said we are due our last upgrade we've got loads and loads and loads of resource points 4720 resource points we've got a couple of upgrades due on uh, but uh, the last two are actually just durability upgrades. And I believe, other than that, I don't think we've got any. Look, there's nothing more we can buy in aero. There's nothing more we can buy in chassis. We can be rebuying powertrain, but that's just for next season's regulation change. That's not a big deal. And then we can buy a couple of durability. So we actually already can't buy any more upgrades. For now, I'm not going to buy anything. Oh, am I? No, I'm not. I'm just going to wait for these to complete first. These are only durability. Oh, good. Yeah, very good. Very, very happy. Of course. We'll of course. Luckily, it's super deep. 12 points to redo. I did rush that, to be fair. And we've got another one coming on here. No, we haven't. Yeah, very good. Very good. 116 points. I'm sure we can afford that. Uh, I don't want to go too mad with the durability upgrades. Oh, that one's literally free, so we may as well adapt that one. 58 points. Yeah, all right, all right. As they're so cheap. No, I'm not going to go 51 yet. I'm not going to do these two, though, because they're... 500 odd resource points. And obviously, any durability upgrade that I buy now has to also then be adapted afterwards so i'm going to concentrate on these upgrades make sure i can save all these upgrades for next season because i'm going to need every upgrade i can get um, but i'm not going to spend my points just yet just in case williams team decides to no i'm not i'm not i don't think even if the williams team buys an upgrade probably the earliest now be after mexico it's not worth it no 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 we're, we're, we're gonna officially give up upgrades for this season officially Let's just get as many parts adapted as we can here, and then we'll go from there. Okay, well, there's the upgrades then, guys. Uh, we had a few durability, but we had loads because we redid them, obviously. But there's, uh, yeah, I, I believe there was a, a major weight, uh, sorry, major fuel efficiency. And it has allowed us just to edge away from Mercedes. In fact, no one else, apart from Haas, has had any upgrade at all. Ours is only to fuel efficiency, so it'll help us at the start of the race. But other than that, it's not going to make a massive difference to us. But we have just edged away there. But as I said, I think from the next few races, they'll start to catch back up. And I don't think we'll have the best car by the end of the season or the start of next season. So that should keep it spicy. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Right, here we go. Oh, I'm going to have to the pits. Please don't get in the way. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Please break later, Alex. Bit of a lock up there. You will have barely noticed it on the video, but bit of a lock up as I hit the brakes. The car just slightly straightened up as I started tipping it in. Luckily, we've got enough grip to be able to take a tiny lift and still be comfortably quick through there. And okay, we'll go again. How's it okay, lap? Uh, that's P2, but six tenths off the top. Six tenths. Wow. Much better. Ah, a bit too early into there, but that was overall much better. Didn't have a chance to look at Delta there. I've lost time through there, but overall three tenths up. I think I lost the best part of a tenth of that last turn. Really pushing now, trying to see if I can find some time. It's worth completing if we're significantly up. If you flag somewhere around me. A bit wide, but five and a half tenths up. Not too shabby. We, oh, we actually got most of it up a fuel, to be fair. That was worth completing. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. That was worth completing that lap for sure. What's up ahead of us, Stappen? It's the only P5, though. Oh, I think we're in the mix a bit more now. There's some more time to be had for sure. Not a massive amount more, I've got to say, but there is still a chunk more. This tyre should be several tenths better than the, the previous lap's tyres. So if I can do a solid lap here, I should be able to improve. Three tenths to pole. That's my aim. Better exit than before. Oh, the limit of grip from the exit there, but always two cents up. Come on. Lock it up again into there. 
Better through there, though. Well, it's not quite going to be pole, but it's not far off it. Pub final set at half a tenth of pole. At the moment, half a tenth of pole. And I suspect we need a bit more than that to actually take pole. Let's do what we can. Come on. Small lock up into there, but it seemed to work. I'll break later. It worked. Just about half a tenth up. Bit of a snap there. We've just got to be hot on me. Carry the speed there right now. That's good as well. A tenth up. Come on. Didn't see what the pole time was. You guys will know it. I don't. A tenth and a half. There's a tenth through here, though. Not good. Still find about a tenth. Uh, is it going to be enough? Is it going to be enough? No, it's not. It's only P4. I think we're down to about P8, though, for that lap. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Not a perfect lap. But not bad. Just didn't quite nail it. And I was still two tenths away, to be fair. Huge pole lap by Norris. We're supposed to have the fifth fastest guy in F1, by the way. Even Norris is OP, or like McLaren's OP, one of the two. Two tenths in the end, yeah. I, I, sus I suspect that time was theoretically possible with a very good lap, but a thousandth up on George Russell, by the way. Two thousandths up on Max Verstappen. Wow. If we were two thousandths slower, we'd be P6 instead of P4. Massive. Massive. Just shows never give up in quality. You have to push every single corner. Sometimes it makes a big difference, especially with how close the cars are on this year's game. Yeah, hold on the tenth to the next guys. I did have that in me. Did I have another tenth again to get another position? Would have needed a better lap than I was on at any point of that last lap, I think. Let's do it, guys. 28 laps of the US Grand Prix. Totally, totally dry race. Yeah, our straight line speed isn't quite as good as AIs, but hopefully we can have some good race pace and bring bring the fight to the to the leaders. Be careful not to get a penalty this race. We've now lost two race wins because of penalties. Any penalties? We should be P4. I'm P2. I've gained two. Norris is in the bin. Remember, we're trying to fight McLaren for P4 in the constructors. So, strategy then. What are we saying? Game thinks just a nice, solid one-stop, medium to hard. And it does look to be the case. Those softs probably just wear too fast, to be honest. Uh, I think I'm just going to go with it. Generally speaking, I want to copy the AI. That's tending to be what's worked for me in the past. It's copying the AI, so I think I'll leave it there. Uh, wow, it's a heavy fuel... Wait, nine of a lap of fuel out. Should be okay. Should be okay. That'll do. 0 0.2. Peter on the grid. Now below the AI do tend to get very good starts. So I just first, first and foremost, just want to try and match the AI's starts. On well, the same stretch as then, medium to hard. That's not a difference for us today. I'm hoping we'll have the raw pace, but let's just try and get away from the grid well. We don't want to lose a number of positions. That'll make our job a lot harder. I've also got slightly higher wings than the AI. Overtakes are not going to come easily. If I can jump the clock off a start, that would be the dream. Now, let's just try and have a good start as AI if we can. And that I did. That I did. Hello. Don't do it for Stappen. Lots of contact behind. We get through it there. We're up to P1, guys. We actually gained with the AI on the start. That very rarely happens. Three wide behind as well. Allow me to get away a little bit. Beautiful. Beautiful. I honestly, I'm not going to say I can't remember the last time I got them off a start because my starts has been getting better and better, but that is one of my best starts of this game. Just really got it hooked up. Really got it hooked up. Just try and keep away now, though. I'd rather not, him not get DRS. If I can just edge away from him, that's the dream. I am doing that right now, but they're yeah, pretty good in this final sector. Might get DRS on me here. I think he is going to get DRS on me. That was a silly mistake by me. Allow him to get that close. All right, come on. Let's sort it out. Get him back out of DRS zone. Luckily, this is the shorter straight to get DRS. Get our head down, just get a bit of a gap, and then we can just we can just chill a little bit more then when he's you know this close, it's a bit marginal. Yeah, this is better, this is better. Let's just edge away from him. Let's be quicker than the clerk as well. I'll tell you what, Norris has made his way through that pack. Don't know how he's done that, because McLaren's pretty slow in a straight, but it's 105 AI, don't forget guys. It's not low AI. Weren't able to take pole in quality, but race trim seems to have a bit better pace. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, please no. Don't be a retirement. If you're going to be a problem, just be like ERS is stuck on for a half a lap, because that's fine. Or well, DRS is broken. Okay, oh, are you joking? Like Wait, he's not telling me to pull over, though. Mm, maybe it's also the understeer issue. Oh, come on. Don't know what it is. The car's definitely slow now, though. It's definitely slow. Oh! Let's hope it is fixed. Well, it felt good through there. There was no understeer through there. Oh, what? God's sake, why is 
Oh, well, actually, it was on soft, so maybe that's a normal strategy. Hopefully, it is actually fixed. Let's just try and get a bit of a gap. We've got the pace over these guys. We are going to get some sort of car issue later. Again, we don't want to be too close to them. Let's just try and pull this gap out now while the car... Make hay while the sun shines. While the car's in good condition. Oh, I'm still bottled up behind those guys. At least uh, if I stop over Perez again, because I don't want Perez getting P3. It's McLaren and Perez I'm fighting, remember? Ricardo's not going to be anywhere good this race. What about Norris at the moment? He's, what is he? Sixth. Not bad. Okay, just trying to edge that gap back up again now. In case of any future technical gremlins. That's deep. Don't go off track. Why is the clerk start closing? Why is it in 36.7 now? Where's that come from? That's literally as good as he was doing at the start of the stint. What the hell? What's that? Where's that come from? That's not me going slowly. That's him going rocket ship levels of fast. Push hard now, just in case. Even if we don't box this lap, he probably will. So wide, so bad. Next lap. Next lap. We're going to go one lap longer. It's a guarantee no traffic. And to make ourselves have slightly fresher tyres for the next stint, I think we're going to need him. We've been struggling this lap on the this stint on the tyres. Oh, Verstappen got traffic. It's going to guarantee Perez P3, basically. God's sake. These tyres are not healthy. They are not healthy. I think the clerk might undercut us, you know. These tyres are a bit more worn than I realised they were, to be honest. Now I'm really trying to push up the, uh, amp up the push levels and realising how bad they are. I think it's going to be very good, good news for us, unfortunately. I almost forgot about the turn-in. He's watching the map. It's as if it's happened still behind that, whoever it was. Might be our teammate, is it? No, I don't think it's an Alpine. Right, the clerk's on the start finish straight right now. It's going to be close. It's going to be very close. There he is. I think we're okay. Hold it nice and tight, Don. We get the cut back on, mate. Fine. You gave him a half a second. Okay. That's surprising. I genuinely thought I'd be overtaken there, but we've given ourselves one lap fresh of tyres. With no penalty for that whatsoever, apart from Lauren a bit closer. He may now get DRS on us. Which is actually not ideal. This was not in the form book today. It's looking like I had the pace. And now it's not. Suddenly, the clerk has come alive. Cars do feel a bit better now than the mediums did. Still not great. They're not properly biting into the circuit like I want them to, but not bad. We only gained about two tenths that lap. Just trying to keep him away. I don't want him being close to us. If he was, if he was within DRS range, we had those technical gremlins earlier, he might be able to get us, you know. Lean mix does make quite a big difference to your power. Where well, we've led every lap. It's not been as easy as it could have been. Pretty easy race so far. I literally glanced at chat. <laughs> After just having said that, and the first comment I see is pretty easy race so far. Go, go, very good. And burning the ERS at the moment as well. We try to keep him away. I think this is going to be a grand slam finish, guys. I don't think this race is over by any stretch of the imagination. Just be very careful to not get a penalty, because if I get a penalty, I don't know if I've got the pace to get that gap up to three seconds. Okay, we've definitely got that gap up quite significantly this lap. This is much more like it. We need to do a few of those laps in a row, please, just to get that gap maybe over. Ideally, over three seconds. That'll allow me to calm a little bit. Clerk definitely can that. I'm a bit worried, to be honest, about towards the end of this race. If my tyres start going off more than his, or... As I said, the fuel difference, maybe. I don't know. It's not, this is not an easy win. That's a ticket away, but... Not an easy win. It's never been guaranteed. I sort of start to feel like it was guaranteed, or maybe lap three or four, when I discovered that I was up to half a second lap quicker than these guys. I was like, okay, this is good. I've got the pace. Let's just... Let's just chill, and then been a struggle since then really I have had to be on it they've kept me honest okay so a tenth that last lap that's literally that's the margins we're talking about at the moment one tenth oh yellow flag oh don't tell me that's the clerk please do be nice the clerk it's the clerk no that's gonna put Perez up to P2 oh it makes the win much easier for me but that puts Perez up to P2 and Norris up to P4 that is not what we wanted at all oh we charge the rest now and go for fastest lap. Make sure we get that point at least. It's only going to be maximum eight points gained over Sergio Perez. I've completely disengaged mentally from this race now. Because the win is in the bag. Even if I get a three-second time penalty, I should be okay now, though not guaranteed. It is. Not a perfect final set, but a few tenths improvement. 35-5 from us. We'll go again. Up to almost six seconds to Perez now. I'm not going to go fast lap on the last lap, guys. I, I think with these tyres, I can't beat that. I'm about to tip over 40% as well. I don't think I can beat the fastest lap. Well, that's deep. Let's just chill. Let's just bring it home. Make sure we don't get any track limits warnings on the last lap. Bring it home. 
The dub was in the bag, the second Leclerc retired. As I said, I'd rather that didn't happen because it's promoted both Perez and McLaren up for a couple more points, but it did guarantee us the win at least. And it is going to be another win. I believe that's our fourth win of the season. We take that. We take that. Led from start to finish. I cannot remember the last time I've done that. Honestly, even leading to turn one is pretty damn rare, let alone leading every single lap. I'm sure I've done it before in this game, but it's been a while. It's been a while. It's a rare occurrence. We take that, guys. Led every lap. Let's go. Let's go. Beautiful. It's a shame that our rivals finished second and fourth, but other than that, it's all right. Oh, Albon went from seventh on the grid to 13th because he did a two-stop. We need points, Albon, buddy. What are you doing? And Ricardo was also in the points. Ricardo, ah, oh, this is the worst. We're fighting McLaren for fourth in the, in the constructors. Ricardo went managed to go from 18th to 9th. And Norris went from 8th to 4th. While my teammate did the opposite. God's sake. That is not what we need. That is just typical. God's sake. Anyway. Do you finally move up position in the Drivers Championship? As I said, we're already mathematically out of getting P2 in the uh, Drivers Championship. We're still in the possibility of beating Perez. But that's not enough. Him finishing P2 there. That, that game was too small. We've got three races to go after this, and we still sit, what are we, 34 points back. 34 points in three races, even with a sprint race. That's all I ask. If we win all of them, we should overhaul him, unless he's literally P2 in all of them. Uh, but that's, yeah, it's not an easy task. Constructors as well, move up to P5. Quite, quite handsomely now ahead of Alpine. We should be able to beat Alpine quite comfortably now towards the end of the season. But uh, it's P4 I want. More money on the table for P4. And there's now what? Uh... 45. 45 points back now from McLaren. We do gain on them this race. We definitely have gained on them. But uh, yes, anyway, guys, that is it from me. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, not so much side by side action. The start was lovely, though, and I led every lap. I honestly cannot remember the last time I've done that. It's so rare in this game because the starts are so hard and, you know, the way strategy works and all that other stuff. But we did it. We led every lap. Three races to go. We need to keep moving up the dubs. Catch you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.